picture. So without further ado, drop the opacity. I'm not entirely sure what I'm walking in here to do, but I do know that I'm walking in here to do it. First, survey the area, get a feel for it. What exactly is going on here? We're going to do something a little different. Basically, I am going to draw this entire image on a sketch pad. We're just gonna see how this goes. Head first, arm. Now I have shortcuts. I don't know what they are, so copying and pasting is going to be much more difficult. Finding things online is going to be much more difficult. The elbow is a pretty good profile shape. The advantage with the mouse and keyboard, not only do I know what the fuck I'm doing, is I can actually edit. I don't know how to erase. Oh no! Oh, I've made a horrible mistake. I found Control Z. Oh god, how do I get all that back? Oh yeah, that's right, my mouse is disconnected. God, okay, well this is embarrassing. Okay, so I've decided that we're actually just going to restart. I don't actually know how to, to do that. We're gonna restart from nothing. I am under the impression that my first attempt was better. Draw the bow. Okay. Shovel arrow. Oh, okay, okay. So I have little quick keys here. This one zooms, this one zooms out. Alright. Now this looks like an abstract piece. Unfortunately, this is 100% of my effort, so that's not a good sign. That's not what I want to do. Oh no, I'm just trying to figure out what these do. How do I delete? Unfortunately, I can't actually delete, so anything that I want to throw away, I'm actually going to have to just drag it off the screen. That's my trash pile over there. Now I'm going to draw his eyebrows, maybe some glasses. Okay. Good news is, we've made a face. We'll take that victory. Fall off to the trash pile. There are his eyes. Make him excited. Okay. His neck region right here. He is balding, so I don't really know what that was. I'm just going to drag that to the trash pile. Instead of that, we're going to give him a hat. Okay. Can't remember how to move. That's not how. Okay. My computer is making noises. I don't know what for. Oh, this is not something that I thought of. Instead of a bow and arrow, trash pile. Instead of an arrow, we're going to turn this into a spear. So he's, uh, it's like he's holding a spear. Uh, he's a mighty hunter. Okay, this is not what I wanted to do. I don't remember buttons very well. This is why I wasn't very good at Mortal Kombat. Can't remember combos. If you can't remember combos in fighting games, you're shit. You can't play. You can't fucking compete. And that's what I'm doing right now. I had to choose something that was non-competitive for this channel because god damn it, I'm just, I'm ass at every fucking thing I play. And every kid on Xbox is fucked my mom. Just, I'm tired of fucking losing. Okay. Um, let me make another layer for the shirt. Draw out this collar a little bit. Arm. I have no idea how I'm going to color this. We might actually have to delete all of these. Thankfully, I've learned how to control Z. Okay, never mind. I don't actually know how to control Z. We are going to color this, so let's give this man some color. What color do we want to make him? You know, in real life, you can't choose the color that you are. I believe that. Most people would believe that. But in the drawing, you can choose what color the people are. So I am going to choose non-offensive pink. He is now weird pink guy from Five Nights at Freddy's. No, I don't follow the lore. Don't fucking ask. I don't know about any of that shit. I just thought it would be funny. So now we're going to go to the shovel. I think the shovel should be shovel colored, which is brown because it's wooden. Because this is not Minecraft, we don't have wooden shovels here. There has to be a way I can delete. Maybe on my pencil. That's not doing anything. Looks like we might have to do something a little drastic. Like I've said, many times before. I go into all of these without a plan. I believe the under pressure shit can turn into diamonds. I'm usually wrong, but sooner or later I'll be right. I'm just actually going to have to draw over this uh, to cover up this shovel shape. The tip of the shovel should be silver. Okay, great. That looks like a shovel. We've got to think of how we're going to color this guy. Right now, this looks like the first enemy you might fight in a really shitty RPG game, maybe on fast games. This is going to have to go into the trash pit. No. There's a lot of pressure here because if I mess up I could drag something and I would never be able to drag it back. I'd never be able to realign it. Now we're going to have to draw pants. Do we have a pants layer? Pants. Oh, I didn't think about this. We want to give him a little room for feet. These are like jorts, some type of jean short. His pants should be a different color, something tame like bright red. I mean, how else would you know that he's an enemy? I don't know if I should draw him a shirt. 
or not. I do remember now that he was wearing a hat. It's like a beanie. That's kind of what I'm imagining here. I'm feeling blue. I need, I I need to connect the collar. Trash. I'm actually just going to have to draw a whole other collar. I don't know how to unfuck that. He doesn't actually have a neck. I don't think that that will go down to his detriment. I don't know how I'm going to draw a shirt. I'm not going to back down from this challenge. We're going to draw him kind of like a tank top. There we go. To connect these things might be a little difficult. Good. That's good if I've ever seen good. Shoulder. Drag this over to the trash pile. White shirt. That's a very common shirt to wear where I'm from. Alright. Zoom out. Which button will zoom out? Alright. You know, I've got a couple things in the trash pile over here. Let's work on his shoes now. They're gonna help complete this image. Move down to the shoes. I, I want to make this look as believable as possible. Shoes have that type of shape. He knows how to tie his shoes. He is an adult. Forest green. He's got a peg leg. I want to emphasize that. So I think I'm going to actually give him a peg leg. Not because I don't think that I can draw a shoe that looks anything like the previous shoe I've drawn. I just think that this would look better. It adds some characteristic. Look, I mean that is something that somebody with a peg leg would be doing. Realistically. Let's make the shovel invisible for a moment. Now he kind of looks like he's dancing. I mean, that looks like it could be a pirate dance. So now that we've gotten the basic shape and proportions of this man, I think that we should really kind of go crazy with it. We're just going to draw what we feel is right. I'm going to move the trash pit off the screen. What happened? Off the screen. Okay. Pirate disco. It's shooting lasers. Because it's a party, it kind of looks like a spider. I have a better idea. I have a more well thought out and developed idea. Instead of pirate disco, why does it do this? Delete. Instead of a pirate disco, he is now actually going to be fighting against... Hell yeah, thank god I can write. I didn't even know this feature existed. Alright. Okay, search for this. Hopefully we'll be able to find something. Thankfully somebody actually made Bruce Lee in UFC. I don't actually know how to save um, anything with the pen and keyboard. Well, the pen, I guess, because I'm not using my keyboard. Um, no, I'm only writing cursive. I guess it's now Bakley. I have found Bakley. Make him a little bigger. Make him 150. No, restart. Now it's divided by zero. Let's see what happens. Doesn't work. One, five, zero. This is going to take a while. Five, zero. Okay, I guess that Bakley here is the right size. I wish I had some type of camera to watch my hands as I do this. Bruce Lee was a small guy anyway. We're not straying that far away from reality. Okay, here we go. Oh god, we're going to do something with his hair. It looks like this pirate is fighting an amputee. And I'm here for it. Edit his color. To make broccoli green like broccoli. How original. Broccoli here has the big hair. So we are going to make him look like broccoli. Here's broccoli. Obviously his hair is going to be darker green. Honestly, I was going to draw a face right here. But it just looks like this is his head. And I actually like that way more than having a face down here. This is no longer his hair, this is actually where his head is. He's even kind of built like a, a broccoli stalk. So now I have to kind of figure out how would broccoli defend itself in a fight if it looks like Bruce Lee. But right now, I think we need to focus on clothing this broccoli. Legs, pants, Bruce Lee's yellow jumper. If this pirate got a shovel, I think that it's only fair that broccoli has a weapon. And his weapon the common kitchen knife. So a little bit of broccoli origin story. He actually learned how to fight in the kitchen. This knife is actually the same knife that amputated him on all three limbs except for his arm. Uh, it is the same knife that killed his family. If you've ever seen Sausage Party, uh, broccoli here pretty much lived through something like that. So now all he understands is blood and violence. He got a taste for it. He actually killed the person that chopped off his arms. Being vegetarian is evil. Sorry if you're vegetarian. I hope that I hope that your food does this to you. I hope that after seeing this you will be persuaded to stop eating. We're really mean to the animals but I don't think that the vegetables get enough representation. I think that we need to stop eating as a human race. That would solve a lot of our issues. If people just stopped eating, corruption would stop eventually. Hunger 
would stop eventually. That is a fact. If you stop eating, eventually you don't have to worry about eating. You can quote me on that. And murder would stop. Every crime would drop to zero if we just stopped eating as a species. So that's my TED talk. Thank you. Back to the fight. Drag broccoli. Make it look they are actually in a fight. So from the looks of it, this pirate here has just made an advance with his weapon, and it looks like it actually missed altogether. And now it is actually Brock Lee's chance to uh, do the counter-strike. He might stab him. I don't know yet, I'm not animating things, so really it is anybody's guess what's going on here. Since we're looking at a bare chest here, let's give Brock Lee a tattoo. Cross is popular. We're just going to flip this. All right. This is like if Junior from VeggieTales went hard. He left Veggie Town or wherever the hell he lived, got mixed in with the wrong crowd. He joined a hard gang. Well, now he's fighting pirates. I don't know how this fight started, but I do know there is an entire crowd behind them cheering. They are in a prison. You can't really get a shovel in prison. I don't actually know. I've never been in prison. It just occurred to me that I don't know how to draw a crowd, but I do know how to draw a beautiful sunset. I just fucked up the sunset. Into the trash pit it goes. Sunset color. That doesn't look like a sunset. That now looks like a bale of hay. Fuck it, they're fighting on a farm now. The storyline keeps changing. This isn't a pirate anymore, it's just a disabled farmer. This disabled farmer is going to dig up some broccoli. That's why he has a shovel. This broccoli uh, is using a trowel that the farmer accidentally lost. That's why this is happening. We've just got some misbehaving produce. We're just going to draw some uh, greenery. We don't want it to get mixed up with the main event that's going on over here. So we're going to make a different shade of green. That also explain why this farmer's boot is green because he's been walking around in grass all day. We really don't pay our farmers enough. This is a PSA, hug your farmer. They do a lot of stuff. Farmers are pretty cool. So hug your farmer. Uh, well, I wanted to make these little carrots, but I don't know what these are now. Little flowers or something. Use your imagination to pretend that this is better than what it is, please. So these are little carrots, and this broccoli here is just taking it upon himself, trying to defend this vegetation. This is like when you're walking in Pokemon, and you walk through some brush, and you find a random Pokemon. That's what's happened here. I don't know if there are any broccoli Pokemon, uh, but this is definitely a grass type. Uh, this is a pretty done picture. This was done all with a touchpad. That's it. There was nothing else. Thank you for watching. Frankly, living through it was hard enough. I can't imagine watching it. If you'd like to see more of this, like, subscribe. Uh, that's it. Goodbye.